Welcome back to Thunder Insider from here at downtown Chicago, the one and only Geno's East. I'm still waiting for my pizza. More on that in just a moment. But while the Thunder is on the road, Chesapeake Arena isn't just home for the Thunder. It also is the host for several concerts for the rodeo. And changing the venue to make all of that happen isn't a small task. In fact, it takes an entire army to make that change happen overnight. Wondering how? Well, let's check it out. What we call changeovers, converting from a basketball floor to a concert. We probably do 10 to 15 of those that are what we call the immediate turnarounds. Uh, we'll have an event the very next day. They're very labor intensive and a lot of planning goes into those as well. We know the thunder schedule, so if for the most part, for, you know, when the season starts. So at that point, we start our process of thinking, okay, what do we have to do to convert? The concert ends at 10.45, and at that point, you're in the process of getting ready for, in that day, a basketball game the next day. So we know that uh, the show's still going to take time to get all their equipment tore down and put it on a truck and get it out of the way. And so that takes a couple of hours. Once that happens, because it's our stage. Yeah, uh, we got an open one back here if we want to throw it on that. Then we have to come in behind once it's cleared, and remove the stage. So that may be somewhere around 1 a.m. in the morning. You know, we'll have anywhere from 50 to 100 people that we will contract extra help to come in and help our staff. And uh, it's quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, work to get all that done just keeping track of everything that's going on at the same time. So we're under such time constraints. They're just a lot of little projects that go on every time in troubleshooting. You can go ahead and move it, just put it right out here. We're gonna break up into groups. There'll be one group working on seating sections. One group will start on the court. There'll be another group putting in some camera platforms and risers throughout the arena. And then myself and uh, one other will start forklifting other seating sections in now. We're gonna spend the next uh probably about an hour and a half getting the floor ready to go. When I say that, just for prep to make sure the concrete floor is clean. We'll bring in the basketball court, lay that down. That takes up to three hours to lay that. Put all the side sections in, seating, put all the seating sections together. So hopefully by eight o'clock the next morning, that is our goal that when people walk in to do other things, instead of just setting up television monitors or setting up the scoreboard, feeds and all those things that we can be ready for them to, to take on the next step. I think the per misperception probably is just uh, the amount of time and uh, people think it magically appears. A lot of people think the floor is down all the time and we just cover the floor, uh, you know, but we treat that floor like uh, royalty, so to speak, because it's important for us. And, uh, and, and again, the more events that we can do that way and the better we can do it, uh, obviously adds economic uh, impact to the city and to, uh, to the building and um, in the end we believe it helps uh, everybody including the Thunder organization. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for braving the tough weather conditions and coming out to Chesapeake Arena for tonight's NBA game featuring the Charlotte Bobcats and your Oklahoma City Thunder. It's really amazing to see how quickly they change Chesapeake Arena and make it an entirely new experience for so many of those fans. You know what's amazing is how quickly we can change a television set to a restaurant table. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. this is what we've been waiting for, the main event. This is why we came to Geno's East, right? Well, okay, so you never forget. Thanks, guys. You never forget your first kiss and you never forget your first slice of deep dish pizza, mm -hmm. which I had the first slice of deep dish pizza here longer ago than I care to admit, Gino's East, 1972. Oh my goodness, and yeah. here it comes and all It is like, like coming home again, baby. Ready? There you go. <laughs> well, we're enjoying pizza on the road. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Thunder Insider. Time to dig in, guys. We'll be back next week in Oklahoma City. Thanks for joining us from here on the road at Gino's East in downtown Chicago. Salutes.